friends, Krista here again, and we're about to meet a whole nother section of keepers. I know you've met admins, you've met uh, supervisors, you've met people from all over the zoo. Well, here's another section to meet. It takes a lot to run a zoo. And we're gonna meet our diet staff. Now, we zookeepers, we can be a little bit of a handful. So these guys come in after we're, we're gone and uh, they have plenty of room to work and actually make our diets for the whole entire zoo. There's a lot of animals. So let's go see if we can find them. And they're actually way back here. So come on. Oh, hey! Come on, come here. Come. Yeah. I know you've met some other education people, the uh, guys that take care of all of our animals up there towards the front. And this is Miss Joy. You've probably seen her on I don't know, television and Facebook and in a newspaper and in a lot of places, it outreaches and everything. And that's because she's actually in charge of our education uh, department. And she is, well, she's kind of like mom to these guys back here. They prefer her. So, hey, Joy, what are you up to? I am grooming Donkey. Donkey. Now, these guys don't fit in the big building up front. Of course not. <laughs> oh, yeah. They have to have plenty of space for their uh, running around and being crazy donkeys and goats. So uh, what do you do actually do with these guys? Um, we take these guys out on walks, a lot of times walks in the zoo. So Donkey is harness trained and he'll go out and meet people and the goats will go out and meet people as well. Awesome. And I'm their primary caretaker. Care caretaker. All right, so do they have a favorite spot out there so people can catch them? When we take them out, we normally go right in front of the bird gardens. In front, of, under the big under mulberry the big tree. tree. Yes. Ah, the 50 year old mulberry tree. It's a wonderful tree. Well, Joy. Yeah, enjoy your grooming. We Thank gotta go you. catch up with night keepers before things get too crazy in there. So have a good day. We'll Bye. see you later in the week. All right, guys. We gotta catch up with them. Now, we have a lot of animals, which means we need a lot of food. You see that? That building right there? That's a whole building full of nothing but grain. What about that building right there? Whole building full of nothing but meat and bones and fish and produce. So much stuff. So, who puts all of these things together? And how do they do it? We're about to find out. So, let's go see. Guys! Hi! How are you doing? Come on in. So, no, 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 not there. Sorry. This is part of our commissary staff, and you've all met Ryan before. Hey guys, we're filming for uh, Thomas, or for Zookeeper Week. How are y'all doing? I'm good. I know, I'm sorry if I catch you off guard a little bit. <laughs> and Amy, you might have seen Amy in the newspaper recently. Hello. She was our star for a day. <laughs> so hey guys, we're, we're filming some stuff for Zookeeper Week. And we wanted to come and say hey and see what y'all are most looking forward to or have enjoyed for the week or what your thoughts are so far. I've actually been moving. Really it's actually a really good uh, education for the public to kind of get a behind the scenes look. So that is true. We do offer behind the scenes tours, but not everybody gets to see everything. And not everything is offered on the tour. So I'm sure they don't get to see you guys very much. No. <laughs> so these are two of our many, many, many night keepers. This is Kim and Amy. And their part of night staff is to put together all of our diets. So guys, how do you, like, look at this crazy diet right here. Look how crazy that is. That's a million different things. How do you determine what animal is what and how much of what and all that fun stuff? All the animals have uh, diets are formulated based upon, obviously, the animal, what they eat, and in theory, try to keep it as close to wildlife as possible. And it's all based upon how much they weigh and all of that and make sure they get all the proper nutrition for their body size. See how much they weigh. Now that comes back to training. Us keepers, we have to weigh it so these guys know how much food that they need. Is our animal too fat, too skinny? These guys help us out. Now some animals are super picky. We gotta tell you, you know, hey, my raccoon hates peanut butter. Please don't give me peanut butter, but please give me some some uh, peanuts. That's pretty crazy. And what about allergies? We have allergies for some of our animals too. Mm -hmm. These guys keep track of all that stuff. So. Okay, we have multiple sections of our staff, so that means animals are never left alone. These guys check them out at night. If there's a problem, they call vet staff, they call us. 
what is here lately. A little bit of some craziness going on I've heard in the parking lot at night. Well, unfortunately, it's been a, it's been a whole Pokemon Go craze. <laughs> I mean, I, I know it's a good game and stuff, but, <laughs> uh, but however, uh, since, since there, there are, even though there are some, some people here at the night, at night, and if we see you, if we see you guys walking around the parking lot, and we don't know what you're doing, that makes us a little bit nervous. So, and unfortunately, we will need, we will call the cops on you because one, we don't know what you're doing, and two, we don't want you to uh, get into the zoo and either and just do either it. get hurt or hurt the animals. Mm -hmm. Now, we all, I, I'm okay. Some of us zookeepers are pretty crazy about Pokemon Go. Play it on our lunch hour. Play it right after work. So we we do love Pokemon. And we love it so much, we're actually hosting a Pokemon Go event next Thursday during Sunset Safari. But like Amy said, remember to be aware of your surroundings. If you're around the zoo at nighttime, we don't know what you're up to. We don't want you to get in trouble. We don't want you to get hurt. So remember, the park, not only does the zoo close at night, but the park around the zoo closes. So remember, be safe. All right, guys. Well, I know you have a ton of dyes to do. Like, what? 800 or so? Well, well over 100. Probably pushing 200. 200? We got, we got 200 one, one diet set up. We have like five diet set up, table set ups. And there's one that has over 60 plates, bowls, pans. It's alone. Mostly birds. Well, but <laughs> but so, that one set up, but you know. So you can't just like throw anything out in the cage. Every animal gets their own plate, formula, plate yes. that's formulated for specific needs and if they're mating if they're you know breeding you know birds we talked about our flamingos earlier they need special diets when they're uh, having those little baby chicks um so these guys they they i don't know how you do it you keep up with all of it and you keep up with us crazy coming in and say can we get some more eggs oh my animal doesn't like bananas <laughs> my animal only eats green grapes and sorry you're sorry krista we only got purple grapes this week Thank you so much for all you do. I hope you get to participate in some of our craziness this week. Um, definitely at least chow down on all the food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so coming at you from a late night here at the zoo, we want to say goodbye and y'all have a great night. Be safe while you're playing Pokemon. Night, good night. Adios.